Lord Fletcher's is a very unique experience. Certainly when people are driving by Highway 111 and they look at the very nondescript white building and they step inside, sometimes they're in awe of how they're transported to a completely different atmosphere. And that's what my father was trying to create by something that would evoke his memories growing up in England of a quaint little country inn. So we have all the types of things that you would see, the mugs, the prints, the horse press. Yes, you know, over the years we've had so many wonderful celebrities who've come in the restaurant. Um, Bob Hope, Elizabeth Taylor, Kurt Douglas, Gregory Peck, but Sinatra was one that was a very frequent customer. I happened to meet him uh, when I was 13 years old washing dishes. We closed during the summer, as we still do. Back in the original days, the desert was very, very seasonal, and most businesses had to close. Sinatra comes in one time in May, knowing we're closing another four weeks. He says, what are you doing this summer? And I said, well, my father and I are gonna be in London. He said, when are you gonna be there? I said, late July. He goes, well, I'm gonna be there. So tickets come for the show. Here we are, it's the night of the performance. We're front row center, sold out venue. People are just waiting for Sinatra to walk on that stage. Sinatra comes out on that stage, the audience erupts in spontaneous applause and he hasn't even done anything yet. Sinatra keeps walking the edge of the stage where my father and I are. He bends down on one knee and he goes, cheers my lord, welcome to my place, now we'll start the show. He just had a wonderful connection to this place and like I said, I had a lot of fond memories with him. He was a wonderful person. Well, I also have to mention, since we're in the bar, our famous after-dinner drink, the Royal Brandy Ice. We've only had three bartenders in 52 years, and our first bartender thought we should have a signature after-dinner drink. And he came up with this mixture of pralines and cream ice cream with brandy and dark cream to cocoa. We call it the Royal Brandy Ice. And it has been a popular drink since we first started with it in 1966. Frank Sinatra especially loved to have the Royal Brandy Ice. And if you were here dining with him for your first time, whether you liked to have an after dinner drink or not, he would order one for you because that's how much he liked them. Occasionally, he would call me up and say, Michael, I'm just gonna stay home tonight. Can I get the ice cream? And he would send his valet over and I'd go out in the parking lot and hand him the tub of ice cream. Yeah, some nights he would shock people, he'd be winding down, and he'd just walk in and sit at the bar and have it on his way home.